Hello folks, in this video I'm going to look at the new Wemore CSP32 Lite which is a low power development board. Here I'm developing another weather station using an e-paper display. There's the ESP32 Lite board and uh, compare that with the conventional low limb board. Um, that's what it now looks like. Quite a bit has changed so here's a more overview of the of the board first of all there's an onboard LED it's the only LED put aside the charging LED um, the ESP32 is now a revision 1 chip um, the uh, flash is 32 megabit or 4 megabyte um, exposed the UART's been changed to a CH340C the regulator to an ME6211 and that LiPo charger is a TP4054. So you can apply, provide power from a 3.7 volt LiPo or um, it's automatic switch over a USB programming port as usual. And if you want to get hold of a LiPo, it has to have a JST 2mm 2 pin plug. You can supply power directly to the 3.3 uh, volt power pin up at the top right there which removes a, a lot of the circuitry during normal operations more even lower power so no wasteful leds other than the user led the change of that uart to the ch340c reduces standby power to 50 microamps the change of the regulator to the me6211 provides 30 microamp standby power all other components are low power. The the lack of the shielding around the CPU probably does not provide, I haven't found any evidence to the contrary, uh, FCC approval. In normal operation of no Wi-Fi, it's marginally lower on power. CPU that is. The Wi-Fi on, I measure about 30 milliamps less in standby sleep on 5 volts and at 3.3 volts considerably less power so it's an ideal board for uh, low power development work the addition of the dual power capability enables automatic power backup support if you fit a lipo battery it's limited to a maximum upload speed of 25 kiloboard and that latest revision one silicon resolves a lot of issues Hope you found that useful and enjoying.